This one is uh, slightly different, but not really too much. What I can see here straight away, x is in both terms. So I could just say that that is x times x minus 12, which equals 0. And now I can go straight to my answer and say that, hey, look, x equals 0 is one solution. Or the second solution is x is 12. And that's a very, very quick way of, of dealing with this. Um, in the fourth case, how could this be done in a, in a, s a slightly simpler way? Well, I could uh, work out what my 81 is and divide that by 4. Does it divide by 4? Uh, no, because it's 9 squared. Uh, I'll be looking to divide both of these by something, but this is just a factor of 3 and this is a factor of 2, so I can't actually do that. So that's my first thing gone. The second thing is to notice, actually, that both of these are squared numbers. This is the same as uh, 2x, all squared, and this is the same as 9. What well, plus, plus 9 times minus 9. So actually, what this is, is uh, a pair of brackets, 2x plus 9, and 2x minus 9, and that equals 0. The reason that I can make this leap is because if I try to expand this out, what would I get? That would be 4x squared is the first times the first. This is using the FOIL method, by the way, F-O-I-L. This is the first two terms multiplied together is the first term here. This one is the outer terms, which is the outer one and the outer one multiplied together, which would be minus 18x. The I stands for inner, which would be the two inner terms multiplied together, which is plus 18x. And the L stands for the two last terms, which are these two terms multiplied together, which is minus 81. And notice that these two terms just cancel out, but they, um, they give you zero when you multiply them, uh, add, add them together. So overall, you're left with 4x squared minus 81, and that's why this works. So next thing is to try to work out what the x values would be. Well, the first value is when the first bracket would be 0. So I could um, move the, if I, if I had to write this actually, is uh, 2x plus 9 equals 0, x1 that is, and then move the minus 9 to, uh, across, I'd take away 9 from both sides, and then divide it by 2, I get minus 9 over 2, and that's my x1. My x2 is just doing the same thing with a minus 9, which would give you plus 9 over 2. So that was a quick way to do that one. Okay, uh, the the final oops, one again, yeah. The the final uh, example is about uh, uh, where I've got my a is one, my b is minus four, my c is is four. Let's just try it in the normal way. So if I have two brackets, the first term here would both be x to get x squared. That equals zero. What two numbers should I, should I put here to, to make four? To multiply to make four, but add to make minus four. So two factors of four that add to make minus four. So I could write one and four, they add to make five. I could write two and two, they add to make four. But I could write minus two and minus two, which multiply to make four. And they add together to make minus four. So these are my two values I put here. That's going to be minus two and that's going to be minus two as well. And this would make x equal to 2, and it's the same on this one. So there's no real x1 and x2, they're both the same, so x equals 2 is the only solution for that. There are interesting ways to solve these, to factorise them, uh, using what's called a box method. Um, if you drew a grid like this, and um, we, we try to uh, um, factorise this thing, we would write here um, the the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, or just x squared here, and the c term, which is plus 4. And we'd work out two factors of a, c that add up to b, which we, which we worked out were minus 2 and minus 2. So I'll write minus 2x here and minus 2x here. And then what we do is we factorise the top row. What goes in both x squared and minus 2x is going to be x. What goes into minus 2x and 4 is minus 2. 
and we can do the same here. What goes into x squared and minus 2x is x. What goes into both of these two, minus 2 again. And you can see that our two brackets that we worked out were here and here. So that was just another way of doing it. Okay, that's the uh, end. You can have a go at the exercises.